In this video, we're going to look at arcs and sectors of circles. But firstly, let's look at the full circles themselves. So, for the, the arc of a full circle is basically the circumference of the whole circle, and the circumference of a whole circle is equal to pi times the diameter. But given that the diameter is, is 2 times the radius, sometimes that's written as 2 times pi times r, 2 times the radius, in other words the diameter, times pi. So in this particular case here, we've got um, pi times 8. Um, so we just get the old calculator out. And on the calculator, we just use the pi button, uh, shift and pi, multiply that by 8, and that gives us 8 pi, which is all very helpful, but we could also change it into decimals, 25.13 centimetres. So if we were looking at um, sectors, really what we've got here is a fraction of the whole circumference. So if we've got the same radius here, 4 centimetres, but rather than having the whole circumference, we've got um, a proportion, a small proportion of the whole circumference. So rather than the whole circumference, we've got um, 120 360ths of the whole circumference. Remember, there are 360 degrees in a full turn. We're only going through 120 of them. So the calculation for, the, for this length of this arc here is um, the same as up here, pi times 8. But then it's not the whole amount of that, it's 120 360ths of that. So 120 times pi times 8 divided by 360 gives us 8.38. Uh, so 8.38 centimetres. So the length of this arc is 8.38 centimetres. Now sometimes they talk about the perimeter of this uh, sector here. Now the perimeter would be that 8.38 plus 4 for this radius here, plus 4 for that radius. So if they talk about the perimeter of a sector, would they also want you to add on these two radii here to that, so that would be 16.38. If they talk about purely the length of an arc, it's 8.38. So over to um, areas of sectors. Well, the area of a circle would be pi times the radius squared. So in this case, it's going to be pi times 4 squared. So we can do that on our calculator. Um, pi times 4 squared is equal to 16 pi. So if you leave it in third form, that's, uh, that's the most accurate way of leaving it. But if we want to uh, convert that into decimals, to two decimal places, 50.27. And it's square centimetres. Area is always in square centimetres. Lengths are always just in centimetres. So the same principle applies to sectors. Okay, uh, If we're working out the area of this sector, we would work out the area of the whole circle. But it's not the whole circle. In this case, it's 145 out of the 360 degrees. So the area for this sector here is 145 360ths of pi times the radius squared, which I can do again as a calculation. So 145 over 360 times pi times 4 squared gives us an answer of 58 over 9 pi is the accurate answer to two decimal places, 20.25. Uh, centimetres squared round to two decimal places. So the basic principle is the same for each of these. Use the normal formulae for um, circumference and area of circle, um, but then apply the proportion according to the angle at the centre. So whatever angle at the centre, divide that by 360 and that will tell you the proportion of the hole that you've got.